Good morning, everybody, on this Tuesday. I'm Chris Allen, July 16th, here on the SAM channel. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X, all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. By the way, I'm going to be at the Ace Hardware Store in Scottsville this Friday from 11 to 1. I'll have some weather radios with me, and uh, we've got some great deals going on. So make plans to come see me if you're in or around Scottsville. Scottsville Ace Hardware, Gallatin Road, 31E, um, just south of town. Friday, 11 to 1. All right, let's see what's going on. We've got a little bit of rain that's just north of us, and we're seeing some of those clouds that are coming off of the showers from the Plano Cam here at 745 on this Tuesday morning. By the way, I didn't do one of these yesterday because we had a, a minor power outage. It was a short one, but it kind of messed everything up. It messed up my radio show. It kept me from doing this. And then Sheila's car battery was dead. And I'm like, well, uh, I guess I'm not meant to do one of these uh, podcasts <laughs> today, <laughs> but everything's good now. Uh, but yeah, you see those uh, clouds that are out there this morning and uh, there are more clouds around and we're going to see a little bit more in the way of cloud cover today. Here's the view from downtown Bowling Green from the Reservoir Hill camera and you can see cloudy skies, especially when you look north or northwest, those clouds coming off of thunderstorms that are in the distance up near Grayson County. Uh, let me show you another view. This is from the Wingate Hotel camera, which is perched there at I-65 and Scottsville Road, exit 22. See a lot of clouds, a little bit of morning sun, but mainly cloudy around the area this morning, thanks to those uh uh, showers to the north, but a lot of those are decaying uh, as they run into a little bit more of a stable air mass. Yes, it is uh, a very moist air mass, but there's a lot of warm air out there as well, and you need some colder air on top of that warm air before you can get uh, thunderstorms holding together. There's the complex that uh, still has a lot of rain with it, but... Um, Closer inspection, and I'll zoom in here on some of that. Here we are in Bowling Green. Uh, you can see these showers coming through E-Town, Bardstown, Litchfield, almost to Morgantown now, back to Central City, kind of in an arc here. Uh, that is a, a result of a gust front out ahead of the main core of rain, which is back up here, uh, Evansville and um, uh, Mount Carmel and Mount Vernon and, you know, on over to Jasper, Indiana. That's where, uh, some of the rain is heavy. A few thunderstorms. These are not thunderstorms. These are just rain cells that are pushing out ahead of that main system. I'm going to put this into motion so you can see, yeah, see it, see it dropping South. So it does appear that some of this might come into the Bowling Green area this morning, but it's not holding together that well. So uh, it's going to be hard to say whether this is going to continue uh, to be, you know, something that's going to actually bring us some rain and thunderstorms. Now, all this back here towards St. Louis, heavy rain, thunderstorms there's been some severe weather there's been some flooding stretching all the way up uh toward uh hannibal missouri then you see more activity back here into iowa and uh back into kansas and Nebraska. i mean look at all that that's a bunch of rain and some of this in fact a majority of it is going to move in to our area tomorrow and bring us some very beneficial rainfall 
and much cooler temperatures. Now, here's a look at the satellite view. Here we are. This is Bowling Green, way over here. Overcast, but kind of a thin veil of clouds. Here come the clouds associated with that first complex of storms over parts of Illinois and Missouri. And then here are the uh, thunderstorms out into Kansas and Nebraska, Iowa, into the Central Plains. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of activity out there this morning. Not so much here in Bowling Green, but we will begin to see more activity as we get into tonight and during the day tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, uh, we've got some beneficial rain. Looks like we could pick up maybe an inch and a half, two inches of rain. Um, there might be a little strong thunderstorm here or there, but really severe weather doesn't appear to be in the cards for us. This is going to be more of a heavy rain event. And after the front passes through, we are going to be the benefactors of a rare mid-July cool down. Significant, as you'll soon see. All right, let's take a look at the Mesonet network. And I've got uh, not only the temperatures here, but the radar turned on. And you can see that we've got a lot of 70s, even some 80s already showing up this morning. Where it has rained, temperatures have fallen into the low 70s, as you can see, right there along the Ohio River. And that broken line of showers, it's still steaming, though. That's the thing. Uh, humidity is up there. Dew points are in the 70s, in fact. Check that right now. Dew points. There you go. 70s. Thick, sticky air. Uh, this will be the last day that we have that for a while, though, which is which is fantastic. Uh, here come the winds out of the north from that breeze, that gust front out ahead of the main core, that complex of thunderstorms. So the winds will start to come out of the north. That's naturally going to cool us down. And then the winds will start to pick up even more around any collapsing shower or thunderstorm. That's usually what happens. Look right there. Uh, that's in Hopkins County. Madisonville, as you're getting a shower, your winds have picked up from the north at 16. Um, there's a gust to 20 in Crittenden County, which is Marion, Kentucky, on the Ohio River. So a lot of this where this gust front is coming down and it's formed some shower activity, that's where the winds have picked up from the north as that system drops southward. Will it hold together into Bowling Green? That remains to be seen. Some of it might. Most of it will not. Rain. Rain. Uh, just since midnight, the only place that has hit, or there's a couple of places where the rain has hit the actual sensors, the mesonet sensors or the, uh, the weather stations, E-Town has picked up, uh, three hundredths of an inch. And then you've got McLean County, Calhoun has picked up 12 hundredths of an inch of rain just with what has fallen so far. But there's a lot more rain to come, especially tonight and uh, during the day tomorrow. So just get ready. And it's going to be a good one. And it's going to turn us much cooler. Here's proof of that. Look at the model blender. Wow. And the reason I say wow is because, again, we're talking about a mid-July cool down. Hardly happens. Hardly ever happens. It's happened before, but it hardly ever happens. Look at that. 97 predicted today, and we could come very close to that, depending on clouds and rain. But then look at that. After today, nothing but 80s. Isn't that crazy? I mean, 
Thursday, I'm looking at near 80. They've got 83. I'm going with near 80 or around 80, I should say. It could be 80, 81, 82. They've got 83. It's going to be more closer to 80 than it is 85. That's just wow. Then we stay in the mid to upper 80s. All of those numbers, except for today, are below the normal. The normal right now across the board through the end of the month is 90. And you see there, nothing but 80s. Now, uh, some of this could change, right? It's very possible. Some of these numbers could change as we get new model updates. And the consensus is, okay, right now the consensus with the models is very consistent and it's showing mid to upper 80s. <laughs> that's that's just astonishing. It really is. Uh, we'll take it because, I mean, this heat and humidity has just been ugh, terrible. Mugly, yes. Mugly, there's that word. <laughs> Does Ace Hardware sell Mugly t-shirts? Gail and Rod, uh, I see your comment there. Ah, that's, that's maybe an idea that we should explore. Okay, uh, here's a look at the maps. And you can see that complex here, even though it, there's a dirty high. But here we see that extension, that troughiness, that disturbance, that wave that is producing the showers and the thunderstorms off to our north this morning. And uh, then a better chance of showers into tonight, especially as the cold front slowly, this is a slow moving system. And that's good if you want beneficial rain. Uh, some flooding is possible along the Ohio river, and there could be a few places here in Kentucky that may get, you know, a flood advisory or something like that, especially during the day tomorrow, you see the darker greens, that's the heavier rain and thunderstorm activity as a low pressure system passes just North of the Ohio river tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon and evening into Thursday morning. Still a few showers around early Thursday, but behind this front, oh, it's going to feel so nice. Oh, I can't wait. And as we get into Friday, Saturday, still a few showers east of us uh, in the Cumberland Plateau. Saturday, Sunday, kind of get a little backlash front slows down and becomes stationary ripple of low pressure along the front. will keep some showers, not for everybody, but some showers in the forecast and Monday. Well, this thing backs up even more. So we'll keep a chance of showers late weekend into the beginning of next week, uh, which should keep us as you saw in the model blender in the eighties, not nineties. And uh, it's going to feel really nice. The lower humidity levels are just going to be refreshing. I love that. Okay, one more thing. There is a level one marginal risk, low end for severe weather today, this afternoon. Uh any kind of sunshine through the clouds before some of that activity gets here could enhance a few of the storms and make them strong to possibly severe. But this is not tornado stuff. This is more heavy rain and gusty wind type stuff that if it should come to this, that's what you would primarily see. All right. Just to give you the heads up here that that's a possibility later this afternoon. All right, let's see here in the chat box, Lonnie, Mandem 98, Jerry, Shannon, Ellen, Donna, 
Sandra, Ralph, Higgs, and family, Barbara, Gail, and Rod, Norm, and Kathy, Eric, good morning to all of you, and thank you for watching. As always, God bless you. Have a great day.